Last question, if you had to call it, how high do you think in the next five years Bitcoin could get? This is per coin, by the you way. You know, Bitcoin's going up forever because it's a cap supply of 21 million and it's going to go up because of inflation. Right, we're going to increase the supply of dollars and Bitcoin's going to be fixed. So in dollars, it goes up. It's going to go up because of technical utility. We're going to build it into iPhones and Android phones and put it into every computer and move it at the speed of light and build it into Twitter and Square and PayPal and, and, the, and, and the like. So that'll cause it to go up. It's going to go up for adoption because of adoption. More and more people are going to bring their money and it's not like Facebook. It's not like uh, when Rupert Murdoch showed up at Facebook, he didn't bring a billion friends. When a billionaire joins a monetary network, they bring a billion dollars. So when 100 billionaires show up, they bring hundreds of billions of dollars. When companies, when institutional investors show up, they bring massive amounts of capital. So it will keep going up with adoption, utility, and inflation, and eventually, you know, it will replace gold, which is $10 trillion asset. Bitcoin's like a 1.2. It'll go by a factor of 10. And in, in three to five years, it'll certainly replace gold. Then it will replace indexes, right? The S&P index or bond indexes. It'll start to demonetize uh, fixed income and equity indexes that are used as a store of value. Because right? that's right now, people, they want to save their money for right. a long period of that's time. Right. They use that. And gradually, it'll demonetize property. Like, you know, in Canada, they got a housing shortage because foreigners go and they buy the houses, you know, as an investment and the locals can't afford a house. Yeah, I've noticed. Same problem in the U.S. Yes. We're monetizing houses. That, that is to say, if I print infinite money, the price of all, I go and I buy something tangible with the money before it devalues. The problem is people that are starting their career that need to buy a house can't afford to of buy course. it. So you don't want to monetize something with utility. Exactly. You know, you monetize food, everybody starves. You monetize houses, everybody's out on the street. Right. So what Bitcoin is doing is it's demonetizing commercial and residential real estate. So if you were to shut down, if the U.S. government decided no more Bitcoin, I mean, what would happen to residential real estate markets? Well, I, I mean, mean if, if Bitcoin went away, then, then the other monetary assets would monetize a, a bit more. Like, right. But Bitcoin is one trillion out of 500 trillion and stuff out there. So it's still it's still less than one percent. But, you know, gold would get a slight boost. Gold is is really being uh, why is it gold didn't go up 34 percent? Gold underperformed the S&P index in a year of political unrest and massive rampant inflation. It's it's the one year in 40 years. Gold should have gone up in price. Why? Because everyone looking for a non-sovereign store of value grabbed the crypto gold. Right. They, they, they occupy the same niche, non-sovereign, sound money, store of value, not related to cash flows, can't be mocked with. But the problem is gold can be corrupted. Gold is corrupted by gold miners and gold brokers and gold dealers. Bitcoin can't be corrupted in that way because you can take possession of your own Bitcoin and the, gold mine, or the Bitcoin miners can't make anymore. So people say Bitcoin is fixing things, right? Uh, fix the money, fix the world. Bitcoin is is gradually demonetizing these other assets. And the idea is to return rationality, to, to make things more rational, right? If people start buying Bitcoin instead of buying a second investment property, the price of property will go down for people that want a first home. Yes. That's the idea. If people start buying Bitcoin instead of bonds, the price of bonds will come right. down. The yield will come up. Exactly. And if you want risk-free yield, you'll be able to buy that yield. It used to be a million dollars got you a bond that paid you $50,000 a year. Now you need $20 million or $10 million to get a bond that pays $50,000 a year. Your retirement just went from costing you a million to costing you $10 million. So Bitcoin is, is demonetizing some of these other assets. And the stock market, all these meme stocks... These are all symptoms of too much money, right? And, and, and the, the sky high P to E ratios. So the big picture, the big idea here, Tucker, is um, the average American, the average, the average wage earner is forced to take their life savings and gamble it in the stock market in order to avoid losing their life savings. My 83-year-old father has to guess which stock is going to go up this week 
and whether it's Exxon is better than British Petroleum or better than Apple or not so good as Google, in order to not lose his life savings. Because if he puts it into the bank, he gets paid 0.1% interest, and it loses 25% of its purchasing power a year. And people aren't stupid. They know that things are going up faster than 2% a year or 4% a year or 5% a year. So we're stampeding an entire generation into either, at best, investing in, in stocks or at worst, gambling with meme stocks and gambling with crypto random dog coins because no one has a savings account they trust. Bitcoin is a bank in cyberspace offering a savings account. You're not gambling on the next product release of Apple versus Google and whether Amazon will get unionized and whether you know, this pipeline will get approved. And it's, that's not right. And if you put all your money in the S&P index, all the CEOs print more stock and dilute your money. So you don't have to do that. All you're buying is you're buying 1 21 millionth of the monetary energy in the network forever. The product of Bitcoin is just you're going to buy a bit of money and hold it forever. And that's the product. And it's a very simple product. It should last for 10,000 years.